Vlad asked him something simple. Dolph turned down a $22 million or $20 million deal. How you feel about that? Boosie go out of his way and say, yeah, 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 whatever the fuck he say, whatever like that. Now, Dolph don't like Boosie response, but instead of going at Boosie, Dolph say, fuck you, Vlad. You mad because I ain't never gave you an interview when he did give him a fucking interview. To me, that's whole shit. Big Face Podcast, I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation, and I'm extremely fucking hot. God damn, my nigga. I'm in Tuskegee, Alabama. Let me tell you something. It is so fucking hot as this, these people down this motherfucker can let you know. This heat, man, I know y'all gonna show love, because me being out this motherfucker, shit. Disprove it. You know what I'm saying? I'm the fearless leader. Of AO Nation. Shit. Fuck the racist police, nigga. I'm out here fighting the heat. Nigga. Today we gotta talk about respect. Like we ain't we in Tuskegee, so what better time to talk about it? What better time to talk about it? DJ Vlad is a culture vulture, but what I say is you don't point out one if you're not gonna point out all of them. Um, Mr. Telefero, uh, whatever like that, I don't, I, I'm telling you, dog, I don't like fuck niggas, man. I, I, I have a real issue with fuck niggas, man. Like, niggas who just, like, it just be whole shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, Mr. Telefero, said, uh, yeah, man, Vlad need to... Show us some fucking uh, Vlad need to show us some uh, something he did for the community and show us some shit like that. Hold on, dog. Like, I call shit down the middle. You don't like you haven't asked Def Jam to show what the fuck they did for the community. You haven't asked Atlantic to show what they did for the community. Vlad has made relationships with people and really put them the fuck on a nigga. 
could be old and forgotten about and you go on Vlad and your whole career is resurrected. We've seen this with Lord Jamar, Godfrey, T.K. Kirkland, um, uh, uh, Trey D. Uh, who is it? Uh, Big U. This shit brings a spotlight to motherfucker and you can't even pay to get on this platform. Like, DJ Small Eyes, like, that's some other shit. Like, that's why that shit don't do well because you can just pay to get on that motherfucker. It's just like World Stars. Like, that shit is worthless. I've told y'all, anything that you can pay for is worthless. It has no fucking value. You know what I'm saying? If I can buy your bitch, then she's worthless. I want a bitch that no matter how much money you throw in her face, no matter what kind of, you know what I'm saying, anything you try to tempt her with, she won't bend. That's a priceless fucking bitch. You know what I'm saying? But what these niggas, I don't, I don't, I don't pick on people. Like, I don't do that shit. Like, I feel like people go at Vlad on some shit just because it's like, ah, yeah, easy target. Like, he the fed, whatever like that. I'm not defending nigga, but I am defending nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I went at him before, you know what I'm saying? But on the facts, on the facts, like, that's the only thing I never went to, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I tell you what the fuck is going on. But what happened here is, I just, I just wanted to point that out. Mr. Tell Farrell, like, it, you didn't said a, a couple things that was just whole shit. Like, you just, you, you just want the whole everybody to, like, I don't like them type of niggas. Like, they want everybody to like them. So you want the whole everybody to say, yeah, I agree with what he said. He telling it. Yeah, he really saying that shit. Yeah, that was up. Like, no, nah, dog. Like, you know, God, you you're a blogger. You know, goddamn well that. You no, know I'm saying a nigga don't owe nobody a fucking thing. Like, he built the shit himself. He don't gotta give nobody shit. And even if he does start shit, do you ask Mona Scott to give back? The fuck are you talking about? She directly makes people fight each other. You don't ask her to contribute a motherfucking thing to the black community. Like, what are you saying? You're saying if someone gets money of the destruction of black people, then they should give back. That doesn't make any fucking sense. That goes back to the fucking uh, uh, Frank Lucas and uh, fuck, what was his name? Bumpy Johnson theory. I'm hot as fuck. Uh, Bumpy Johnson's theory where um, you give away turkeys at Christmas time or Thanksgiving, but if you wasn't poisoning the community, you wouldn't have to give them away because they'll be able to afford the motherfuckers them damn selves. But this is the type of shit that motherfuckers pick out and, and and they don't see don't do that shit dog where it's like uh i never seen vlad dude I'm, I'm getting off point but that shit just really fucked me up because it's like it shows who you are you're not saying what's right dog you're not saying what's right you saying what people want to hear like yeah y'all listen to me that and that's so fucking gay to me like you need friends that bad you apply to the man company. Okay, if you got problem with this nigga, say that you don't like the nigga because he didn't hire you for the job. Don't say, yeah, I, I ain't never seen him give back to nobody. Dog, he started motherfuckers' careers. Booster can reach out to him at any time and get an interview for anybody. He's interviewed Young Blue and this uh, little lame ass, little blurry nigga for Boosie. The fuck is you saying you're not the fucking hood or street nigga motherfucking or black person gatekeeper to tell him how much he owes in black taxes? That's not what the fuck you do. So with that, what happens here is people look at what people say and, and they go as far as, yeah, I'm going I'm to fuck with him because he says something that we all believe in our mind. But that's the same fucking thing. When we go down the road and say, niggas can tell, or uh, uh, somebody can start a room about somebody, and because you don't got the heart to go ask them, hey man, what's up with this right here? When you, it can be easily dispelled, you will just go with the room and be a whole nigga instead of asking like, hey man, what's going on with that, man? I'm hearing you gay, or motherfucker, I, I, I'm hearing you snitching and shit like that. Go holler at a motherfucker, ask for their paperwork. Ask them what's going on. But fuck, I'ma just go, I, I don't like that shit because if you've ever been anyone of any consequence, then you've had people start rumors about you. You've had people lie on you. And that don't feel good. It don't feel good when motherfuckers go out of their way to destroy you after you didn't work so hard to build yourself up. But this is the diaspora of niggas. And this is why, you know what I'm saying? 
I have to respect Vlad, not just because he, he bring actual good content and shit like that, but because he like really stay above the shit. Like he really stay above that shit. Like, and he wasn't, he wasn't groomed the way we were groomed. Well, like this, all we do is bring each other down. And then another thing, when Dolph uh, made his statement and shit like that, you talking some, uh, yeah, uh, fuck that shit. Uh, Dolph said, Dolph was wrong in what he said. And you still champion him. That's gay shit. That's faggot shit. You gonna pump a nigga up when he wrong? But you gonna hold Vlad for something that you think is not right? You pull uh, Vlad coattail for what you think is wrong, but when Dolph do something that you know is wrong, fuck that, nobody cares about that. That's bullshit. That's the same thing that the white folks is doing to us. They overlooking their wrong and highlighting ours. But that ain't what I'm here for, man. I, I, like I said, this heat out this motherfucker is crazy. So, but but you know what I'm saying? I, I don't like that shit, man. And, and that just stuck out to me because I don't like that gay. I, I don't like that chili and shit. I don't like that. But what happened here is, I wanted y'all to take notice. Dolph and Boosie just got into it. But you would have to know what's going on to know what's going on. Boosie was just on Vlad. And... Vlad do what Vlad do. He instigates situations. No different than any other fucking radio host. No different than Mona Scott or anybody you see on TV. Without drama, there is no fucking TV show. Without contention, without an issue, there is no show. No one gives a fuck. It's not entertaining. Nobody wants to see something just go up, up, and up. They want to see a challenge and how you overcome the challenge. Um, just like any fucking uh, TV show, uh, uh, Captain Planet, you know they're going to win. You, just, you know Goku going to win. You just want to see how he going to do it this time. So, Vlad asked him something simple. Dolph turned down a $22 million or $20 million deal. How you feel about that? Boosie go out of his way and say, yeah, 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 whatever the fuck he say, whatever like that. Now, Dolph don't like Boosie response. But instead of going at Boosie, Dolph say, fuck you, Vlad. You mad because I ain't never gave you an interview. When he did give him a fucking interview. To me, that's whole shit. When you speak out of turn, when you say something like what people can see, like motherfucker can see what the fuck you said. Motherfucker can see that you actually said you mad because I didn't get an interview. And, it, and it's saved. Like it's, it's you wrote it like people can see this shit. But people can always look back and see that you actually did go on his show. You went on Vlad. Like, you gave him an interview. So, like, that's whole shit. That's what hoes do. Hoes say shit that ain't true because they mad. Men think with their mind, not their heart. They don't get emotional. So, when you get emotional and you go off on a tangent because fuck all that shit, though. Let's get down to the point. Boosie made the statement. Boosie the one who said whatever the fuck he said about you being crazy for not taking a $2 million, a $20 million deal. Why didn't you address Boosie? You know what I'm saying? The thing about this shit is, a nigga could look at it like, you know what I'm saying, um, Vlad instigated that and asked the question, but he asked questions about everybody all the time. And people are going to do that. That's what people do. If you didn't have an issue with nothing he said, then fuck that shit. Don't say shit. But if you got an issue with something that Boosie said, then address Boosie. Even if you do it behind closed doors. Do it like that. But this whole thing, what I want to show you is, it's about respect. Pay attention to how when you respect someone, you'll go out of your way to show that you're upset, but not to show you'll be indirect with who you're upset with. That's what respect and fear do. Niggas don't want no beef with Boosie. You know what I'm saying? Beefing with Boosie, even right now when folks ain't really rocking with Boosie, that shit can alter your career. Beef with Boosie, beef is hot as fuck, man. Beefing with Boosie, even with him not really, you know what I'm saying, being the old Boosie, will alter the path and trajectory of your career so you strayed away from that when if you had an issue 
You could have just fell back, like, fuck that shit, you know what I'm saying? And keep riding. They're talking about a deal that, quite frankly, sounds unreal. You know what I'm saying? Because you're the only person who said this, that this deal actually took place. You know what I'm saying? So when folks talk about it, were you lying, my nigga? Was you lying about the shit? What, like, what's, what, like, where's this anger coming from? But fuck all that. I just want y'all to see, look how niggas handle certain niggas. Certain niggas, niggas go straight at their motherfucking head. Kodak Black ain't had no issue going straight at 6'9". You know what I'm saying? Uh, Messy Marv ain't have no issue with going at that, whoever that nigga was. You know what I'm saying? Um, when the niggas in Broadway County, you know what I'm saying, was heating with Glock 9, they had no issue going straight at that nigga. But certain motherfuckers, you gotta watch the way you approach. Because you don't want it like that. And just pay attention to niggas that come from this generation and niggas that come from this generation. Niggas that come from this generation, motherfuckers kind of watch the way they do shit. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, no matter how much play, play, foo, foo, game, whatever the fuck going on, 6 9 won't beef with Boosie. No matter what the fuck Boosie might say, no matter what he's as, 6 9 ine ain't gonna say shit about Boosie. He's not gonna do it. This is what respect really look like. Everybody else just playing. Everybody else just playing, they just saying shit, oh fuck you, fuck nigga going ham, whatever like that. But certain motherfuckers niggas don't play with. You don't play with certain niggas. And that's what respect is. And when niggas Pop, like when niggas puff their chest out like they just wolves, it fuck me up. It really throws me the fuck off because it's like, my nigga, if you a wolf and really a tiger like that, don't go at the motherfucker that everybody goddamn uh, uh, slap around and fuck over. If you a wolf like that, man, say what the fuck wrong with you, man. Don't you hate that shit like the motherfucker who mad about, you know what I'm saying, uh, something you did it, uh, at the house, whatever like that, but they ain't gonna say shit about that. They gonna get mad about some totally other shit. Like your hoe, this is what your hoe do. She mad because you ain't come home last night. But she come in the house, uh, throwing, she, as soon as you come in the house, she woofing about you ain't wash the dishes. Like, ain't no dishes even in the sink. I don't give a fuck. What the fuck are you talking about? That's hoe shit. Hoes do that indirect beef shit. Men come directly at the issue because they want that shit solved. I don't want to play around this shit and dance around the goddamn the issue. Let's get this shit solved. So, in my book, you have losers in this situation, and you have and, and everybody's watching, and everybody should be watching because this shit can roll back into a whole situation. And I think Dolph understands that also. You know what I'm saying? Because this situation right here might turn into a situation where. Boosie and Dolph have to have a conversation. I'm sure be squashed behind closed doors, but just pay attention to how some niggas get approached and other niggas get approached. Look how some niggas get played with and other niggas get played with. You know what I'm saying? It's a big face podcast. It's hot than a motherfucker. This is the Tuskegee version of uh of the show. As you can see, this motherfucker standing behind me and shit like that. Um, also. Make sure you go check out Eskimo Shawty. If you haven't already, go to the YouTube channel. Fuck with them. That's music that you can use that can actually elevate your mind instead of deprivating your mind. See y'all in a minute. I don't got my pen, so I can't even write my shit down. This nigga just moved the whole camera. Oh, man, my bad. This nigga just moved the whole fucking camera. It was already cut.